we are here on the Molaison, well-known mountain in Switzerland. We have this meeting here with the very best highliners in the world. We are trying to break some world records, but mostly we try having fun. Today there will be a lot of tourists coming around to see what kind of show we're going to make. When we reached the 300 meter line and the almost 500 meter line, we really didn't have the expectations of making huge tries on this monster. We were already super happy when the first people passed the 300 meters, which was already crashing the world record by about 90 meters. Afternoon, I managed more than half, and that gave the little switch in my mind. If I manage half, then I kind of walked every part because the second half is again the first part, just a little bit more endurance. And I wanted to make one last try in the evening. One minute after I started walking, I heard the noises of the leash rings, and I was like, Yes, Alex is also going on the line, and that gave me some confidence that I'm not alone out there. When somebody is falling on the line, you hear it, and I was walking for 300 meters, and I didn't hear anybody fall. I didn't see him, but I just knew that he is still walking. Yeah! <laughs> I was super glad for Alex that he was the third one to break his world record. This again gave me some confidence and just made me push on. I stopped thinking, just counting my steps. It was a meditative state of mind. mind, 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 mind. Coming back and having people awaiting you, friends who have also tried to get the scent, they were not like, oh, the other one did it, they were like, Cool that you walked the line. That makes you realize how nice it is to do this sport, having these friends who are not just conquerors. We were pushing each other to the next distances. It was not only me at this event who did a big walk, it was everybody realizing how much more is possible. 